All right, yo, what is up guys? This is Josh back with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use and create presets in Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. Before I actually get into it though, I just wanna say a lot of you guys, about 70% are not subscribed to the channel yet, so make sure to drop a sub. It's 100% free for you guys to do, and you can change your mind at a later date. Feel free to also drop a like and comment as it does mean a lot to me, and it does support the channel. Hope you guys do enjoy though. All the links to anything you'll need will be in the description, the downloads, all the softwares. Hope you guys do enjoy, and I'll see you guys on my PC. All right, guys, so the first software I'm going to be doing this in is DaVinci Resolve, so I'm going to open up a random project. If you were just doing it, so you're saving some from some other project, you just go into that project and you would do whatever. So I got my DaVinci Resolve open right here, and let's just say I'm going to show you how to save something first. So let's say you made an insane build up, you want to save it. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Fusion tab of the adjustment clip that we actually applied this to, or even if it's on this clip directly, we'd go into the Fusion tab of that clip but I'm gonna show you on the adjustment clip we're gonna go into the fusion all we got to do is anything in this gray space right here we're gonna left click highlight all of it we're gonna right click on any of them go to settings right here on this little pop-up and then go to save all as we'll pick a location on our PC so for example you want to go desktop I would just name it insane blue build up or something like that insane blue build up dot setting something like that I'd press save and then that would be on my thing and I'll quickly show you if you wanted to for example add your own impact and you wanted a preset for like you had a preset that you wanted to apply to this like to the uh, the impact sorry I can't really speak right now for some reason all we're gonna do is we're just gonna add an adjustment clip go into our fusion clip of that adjustment clip it should be blank like this and we're gonna just find whatever preset so for me it's just this essential impact one and we'll see it looks almost the same structure as what we just saved from the other tab we're just going to uh, disconnect this line right here we can double click on it we can undrag it like we can drag it from out here just so it disconnects we can double click doesn't matter and then from here here, what you can do is you can just connect it like this connect it like this or you can go back to the very beginning where it's like this press all this and uh, it gets kind of confusing sometimes it messes up if they're all in a straight line it'll work but I just recommend connecting the uh, each side each terminal node to the media in and the media out and just like that we do have an impact right there just like that and it's that easy to add presets and uh, a very important thing in adding these presets is if the keyframes are messed up, you can bring up the keyframe menu right here by uh, pressing the keyframe. And we can just uh, use this thing to actually see where these uh, keyframes are actually at. And since this adjustment layer is shorter than most, it's all the way back here. But if it were to be the full length, it would be all the way out here, if that makes sense. But that's pretty much that. I know this video is super short. That is how to actually add presets to DaVinci Resolve and save them. Super easy. Uh, adjusting keyframes all that stuff if you were to do transitions you can use the spline if you want just like this and you know it has all the graph editing that you need i don't think you guys really a lot of you guys probably didn't even know that, that you can like graph edit in davinci which is super cool all you got to do is just select the effect that you want to use so for me if i wanted to edit the amplitude on my shake i would just do this and then literally it's like after effects at that point where i can just graph edit but that's pretty much that i uh, hope you guys found this helpful i'm going to be moving on to after effects now i'll see you guys there all right guys so the next software is actually going to be after effects we're just going to open up i don't even know like a random project even it doesn't even matter uh whatever you want this is actually an intro for a video so i'm not going to do that I'm just going to do kind of this thing right here. Um, After Effects is probably one of the easiest softwares for adding and saving presets in the sense that you can easily line up keyframes. So for example, if we wanted to save, let's say we made a really nice buildup, all we're gonna do is just go to almost any adjustment layer here. We're gonna click on it, press U, and that actually brings up our keyframe menu just like this. So we can see what this thing is. So this is actually our impact. This is our screen pump this is our build up so let's say we wanted to save our build up what we're going to do is we're going to press control on our keyboard while clicking on bcc brightness and and uh keep that held down while we click on s shake and then we're going to go up here save animation preset and then you would just name it um fade build up let's say fade build up dot ffx or if you wanted to save your screen pump, you'd press U on this, you'd select all of them, even just for the, uh, or you just press this, save, you'd save it as a animation preset, you'd rename it to whatever you want. But when it comes down to this, you can select all these keyframes, but 
it's hard to explain because sometimes the values are different than the defaults. If you don't select one of the keyframe values, it'll kind of reset it to default. It's hard to explain, but uh, if you guys know use After Effects, you'll know what I mean. It's it's hard to try to explain it. So just select everything, go to animation, save animation preset, and then you can just easily save it just like that. And uh, same goes for transitions. You can just save it that way. I'll quickly show you how you could actually apply. Let's say if you have a transition preset. So we're going to go in between these two clips right here. We're just going to press control Y to actually add our adjustment layer. That's a very essential key, uh, key bind to know and remember because that is one of the most important things to remember in After Effects. We are just going to click on that layer in the middle, go to animation, go to apply animation preset, and then pick any of these presets, even for just like, uh, for your highlight videos. I'll have some presets, honestly, in a Google Drive if you want to check that out. And that kind of just adds the preset just like that where it has the transition. If we were to do it on the impact on the kill, we could do that, we could do the build up. As long as we are actually just pressing U on our keyboard and selecting the keyframes and sliding them around, everything should be good to go. Uh, but with that being said, that's pretty much how you save and use presets in After Effects. I'm gonna be moving on to Premiere Pro now. So I will see you guys over there. All right guys, so I'm in Premiere Pro. We're just gonna open up a random project. So for me, I'm just gonna open something I was testing presets in before for a five insane effects video that should be on the channel. If you guys wanna check that out, feel free to do that. But pretty much I'm gonna let this project open and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to, for example, um, I'm actually going to use this for a saving presets example. So, for example, on this clip right here, I'm pretty sure we have a, uh, what do we have? We have a beat shake. So that this is a really good example. If we wanted to save a beat shake, for example. So once we've actually figured everything out, we're just going to click on our clip and we got to navigate on over to our effects controls. From there, we're literally just going to press control on our keyboard. We're going to click on this with our left mouse button. Sorry, I stuttered. I, I can't speak English right now. Um, and then we're going to click on these other two right here. We're going to right click and then just press save preset. And then we're going to, depending on each uh, thing, whatever it is. So if this is like an impact, we're going to do anchor to in point. So what you do for that is you would cut it on the kill and then you make sure you set it to anchor on in point. That way it's like an impact. And then we just name it whatever. If it was an impact, we do blah, 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 save it, press OK. Um, if it was a buildup, we do anchor to out point. That way we kind of apply it to the cut on the kill as well. But on the other side, on the left side prior to the kill, and then scale will be that it just does its own thing. I recommend that you just do it on anchor in or out and then figure out the keyframing instructions. So if it was, you need to go 27 frames back, cut it and then apply the preset. I would include that in your title. And then you just press okay. From there, you would just export it or whatever. It would show up in this menu right here. You'd right click export it as a preset. And then that is how you go from there. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete these right here and I'm going to show you how to actually add a preset or import a preset. So if you have a preset on your PC, all you got to do is go over here to your preset thing, click on this, go to import presets, find the presets. So for me, it would be right here. I'd press open. It shows up in my thing. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. So it's right here. I don't know why it's in Rambo's pack. I was just messing around with some of Rambo's stuff. But for example, right here. It says Joshi Essential Impact one frame. So if we have one of these presets, this will be in the description, by the way. You can go one frame back. You'd literally cut it on that point that you have your frame at, and then you would just add it. And that literally adds the preset the way you want it. It doesn't have velocity on it, so it looks super weird right now. But if we had velocity and then nested it, added our impact, for example, it would look really good. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much that, guys. I hope you guys learned something about the softwares, how you can actually use and save your own presets. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.